Okay, this is no BS nutrition. I'm gonna get straight into it. So we're gonna go over overeating, especially on the diet, restriction, and discipline. So why are you overeating on the diet? It can be many factors. You're hungry, obviously, because you're lowering your cal calories. To, um, like you look. You're eating less. You're eating less calories you were before, so you're hungry, your hormones want more food, etc. How can we prevent this, especially if you tend to binge on processed foods afterwards? Simple. Just eat more. It's not hard. If you are hungry, stop going for a processed food that is called a craving we are talking about eating more to be less hungry if you don't have a craving just yet on your diet then stop eating on that freaking craving why would you eat it you think that's gonna make you full like that's a craving that's separate that's what you want that is not a bad thing i recommend to eat your cravings if you can fit it in your diet we get into that later but let's focus on volume volume can be many factors typically it is associated with carbohydrates aka vegetables now a lot of people like vegetables that's the secret the secret is you don't like ve no the thing is you don't like vegetables but you don't want to binge eat so what can you do well simple cook your vegetables steam it season it like a shit ton my bad for my language but if you don't want to binge and lose that 30 pounds in three months four months five months which i recommend slow plot so process 30 pounds at least seven months just eat more high volume i'm gonna show a picture right now Okay, you saw that? That was a plate of vegetables mixing with chicken, mixing with seasoning. The reason why it's yellow because I put curry curry powder on it and a barbecue sauce, low calorie barbecue sauce. It's all about the ingredients you put into your foods and the volume is. I'm on a diet. I'm not going to say how many calories, but I am on a mini cut. Um, a mini cut is usually three to four hundred. 300 right i'm on a 500 calorie that's not really a mini cut that's moderate cut but i'm doing it for a week and i'm putting vegetables that i cooked with the food that i was gonna eat and season it the reason you know so many people are not eating vegetables because they think about eating plain old vegetables why would you do that to yourself Think about it. If you try to lose 30 pounds and actually do it right and stick to it, because it's not gonna happen over a day. It's gonna have it's gonna work over weeks. Weeks you have to look at it. Months to lose that 30 pounds. So you wanna season your effing vegetables to a point that is so good you crave it. And then Think about the highest volume things you can put with the least amount of calories. Cauliflower rice, a spinach is a great one. Lettuce, tomatoes, mushrooms. Don't cook the mushrooms. You don't have to cook mushrooms, not all mushrooms. Just put it in the salad bowl. It's more voluminous because it's not gonna shrink. So eat more, meaning eat more voluminous. That is so simple, but people don't understand because if they want to have a born diet that's really it they want to be this goes into strict now we're going to talk about being strict they want to have a focused diet um i'm only eat chicken broccoli or rice i'm gonna eat the least amount of volume is i'm just gonna eat this boring seven days seven days throughout a week and i'm gonna lose this weight go in honestly try it uh if you hardcore like that and you succeed maybe it works for you maybe you're that disciplined that, maybe you're so good better than all of us hey I don't, I don't really care. I'm not trying to help you like I am, but if you want to do that and then after that, uh, get off your diet and then go to McDonald's, which will happen. Most likely you'll go to McDonald's and start again and gain all that weight and plus, let's be honest, that's that would happen. Um, but if you actually be smart and not restrict yourself so much, then yeah. You can have those things. Don't restrict yourself. That's too much restriction. You don't have to restrict yourself to a point that you take away your Oreos. You take away your cereal because you do need that. Like, I'm not perfect. 
I do need sweets. I do, but I crave more vegetables because I program myself, etc., etc. But I'm smart. I'm eating high volume of foods so I don't overeat the sweets, the processed foods. And what happens is over time I'm doing that and I have months and months of doing that. My body tends to crave more of those volumes, foods, those vegetables because the guy. Well, if you want to be a little scientific effect, your glycemic effect won't go so high and your gut microbiome of bullshit. Your guts doesn't sing or your brain like, hey, I crave the sweets. It has a different, it changes. And it like singles that you want more vegetables. It just does. Your gut can produce that to your brain and say, hey, you show you used to eat vegetables. I really don't want the sweets because he ate that before. He ate it before. That's the tip. You eat as much as you want with voluminous calories that's dependable it depends on your calorie needs and all that sometimes you do have to eat a little bit more calories to stay out of a calorie deficit but we're not going to get into that but that's on you but i'm just focusing on voluminous foods that you can eat that tastes good so it doesn't just have to be vegetables but that's typically where you sort it so eat more vegetables like high volume vegetables and season it, season it, steam it. Like don't be a lazy. You have some time throughout your day. I wake up at four o'clock. I don't even have to wake up at four. I wake up at four, do an hour of cardio, go back home, and eat my meal, go to the gym, do an hour of the gym, walk back to the house. And I got so much time throughout my day. I can make six videos throughout the day and still have time. I used to work actually 14 hours a day doing lawn care. 14 hours top of that working on my lawn care business and also making videos for my lawn care business it was a 14 15 hour job and i still had managed time to cook eat right eat high volume and stay on a 25,000 calorie diet and that i will i wasn't aware but i was pretty much starting myself not making strength gains because i was so freaking uh, I was so freaking shredded, but God, it was terrible. Doing two hours and 30 minutes of cardio on top of lawn care. Yeah, I was a cardio junkie. Doing three, sometimes three hours on the weekends on a 13 incline. So I had time throughout my day to eat my volume foods, eat my volume foods. And if I still want the processed foods, I'm not gonna restrict myself, but since I eat the volume foods, effect happened and now i'm not gonna over binge on the processed foods like ice cream i might want two two scoops of ice cream and if you do attend to if you're not a big eater especially on a diet which is kind of not for everybody but if you're not a big eater you don't have to eat high volume you can eat more fats fats are more delicious if you tend to eat that i'm talking to the most the big eaters i recommend to eat high volume foods High volume foods can come from vegetables, but it can also come from high protein recipes. The reason why people don't want to cook high protein recipes, what I think is because it does take time, but it doesn't at the same time. High protein recipes can literally, you could take a protein shake, for example, that's protein. That, that's not, okay, it's not the healthiest thing. It's still a processed food source, but it's better than you going to the kitchen and eat two slices of cake and if it f up like what two days because cake has a lot of calories like or eat a whole fucking cake so eat high voluminous don't restrict yourself have that balance have balance eat some processed foods and then before you tend to if you really want that processed food eat something high volume eat a big salad or make a tasty high volume food that is sweet like protein ice cream popcorn with protein powder you can put some mist sugar um syrup and some protein powder mix it up make it a little goopy and put it on 96 lean 96 fat free popcorn and there's a little sweet sweet treat that's a little tip or make protein ice cream coach cray does that link in the description below make um cookies high protein cookies literally supplement with protein powder um it's sweet and delicious make 
the recipes taste good, make it high voluminous, make it have protein so you can be full, so you don't tend to overeat on the more processed and sugary items. Uh, restriction, you don't want to restrict yourself too much because if you do, then you're just going to, well, you're going to fail most likely, let's be honest. And now, discipline, that's the last one. Discipline is if you, t it goes with restriction, but people with discipline is like, what I see is they're so motivated, they want to be a focus driven. And that's not terrible, they just want one set point. And that's good. Like, it's make it simple, right? Like, following keto diet. It's simple. You just eat meats. You eat meats, you eat like 20 grams of carbs, right? That's the thing. You can be disciplined, but if it's not going to work with your lifestyle, don't do it. Because obviously, if you tend to crave more carbohydrates, why would you just eat meat? It's not in your genetics. Like, you can. You can. Like, go right ahead, but genetically, you tend to crave more carbs. Anybody does, but especially you. If you're so eat, used to eating pop tarts or just eating carbohydrates, so I'm not saying don't try to make it simple. I'm saying that if it's not realistic and you don't see yourself doing it, even on a diet or doing it for a long term, then don't don't follow something so simple. Cause simplicity or and so disciplined. Don't be so disciplined as well. Like don't follow that strict diet. Have a diet. There's four main groups that I recommend. That's dairy, fish, anything. Like meats, carbohydrates. Limit it because you're on a calorie deficit. Just limit, I would say, the carbohydrates. But if you want more carbs, you limit the fats a little bit. Make sure your hormones are checked. You want fats still. Fats are more important than carbs. Or limit your protein to one gram. You can go higher. You can go, I recommend a little bit higher because you're on a diet. But you don't need that much protein, okay? We can't focus on everything. If we focus on one thing, then we won't actually progress. So, if you tend to overeat on carbohydrates, especially on the processed stuff, but you still want carbs because you want high volumes, okay, eat the high volumes foods. If you still want to binge, oh, well, not binge, but eat that, junk, eat that processed food, then go ahead. But try to limit it. And what's going to happen over time, you're going to crave it less because you ate the high volumes foods. It's probably a protein recipe, something, um, a big salad bowl, anything. Or the picture you just saw earlier. So, be less restrictive on your diet. Eat more high volumes food like you saw the picture earlier. They Put lettuce on it. Like, with that picture, you could put more on it. Like, honestly. Um... Don't be so disciplined. Like, discipline is good. You want to be disciplined, but if you be so disciplined, especially it doesn't make sense for you, don't do it. That's it. Unless you want to do it, and then after that binge, go right ahead and say it's perfect. But if you want to actually lose 30 pounds and actually lose weight, and no, really specifically fat, I don't even like the word weight, fat, then you have to have balance. That's why I promote balance. You know what? This channel is going to be only be balance. I'm going to put in the description below. Balance. I want people to type balance. Because you need balance on your diet. Eat high volumes foods. And it doesn't have to be broccoli. It doesn't have to be anything. Eat different vegetables. That's what I want people to eat. So they can actually be full and actually have a good, healthy nutrition balance but if you don't want to eat that specific thing eat half of that eat half vegetables and cook half high protein recipes you fall in line coach greg is a great example which i preach his name because he make it for dummies like literally a baby can cook it in a matter of seconds and some of these are just in microwaves so you can literally put popcorn put it in the microwave have four bags of it and that's only like 300 calories no 500 calories and no one's eating four bags of popcorn like I can but that's besides the point so high volume be less restrictive on your diet be less disciplined if you need to and make sure you have a nutrition balance that's really it for this video just stay to it stick to it it's gonna be a process it's gonna take time but once you do you're gonna 
gonna be happy.